channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. So I'm trying to get past why my face is so red right now. We're just gonna ignore it. It's fine. <laughs> I just wanted to welcome you guys to this vlog because I feel like I've been doing a million things this morning and I wanna bring you guys up to speed, but I am here to document another What I Eat in a Day vlog and welcome to another episode of my Schley's Health Journey series. <laughs> So if you guys are new here, let me bring you up to speed. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. And if you don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. But the basics of the program is gonna be you consuming five fuelings a day that come in your monthly Optavia box, and then you're gonna be making one lean and green meal a day from home. Everything is spread out by two to three hour increments, and that's how we work to get toward our optimal weight in the weight loss phase. So like I said, today is another what I eat in a day vlog, and I know we love seeing these, but also if you guys saw my vlog yesterday that went up, you guys will know that this is actually me in the middle of getting back on track right now. So I had a period of basically like two weeks where we were out of town, and then right when we got back in town, we were both sick. Zach and I were sick with what we thought was COVID. We're still not entirely sure if it wasn't COVID. It's just the whole thing was out of sorts and it kind of threw us off our program a little bit. So we are back on track. Yesterday was my first day back on program. And usually if you guys are getting on program or you're looking to get on program or you're researching program, the most important thing that you try and do in your first week is getting back into a phase called fat burn. And that usually takes about four days or so to get back into fat burn, depending on how healthy you were eating previously. So if yesterday was my day one, I was actually experiencing a lot of hunger. And then if you guys saw towards the end of the vlog, I don't, I don't think I mentioned this, but like I was exhausted. Like I was so, so tired by the end of the day. It was just like so many things of me just trying to get back into routine after being sick and just trying to like have my life together. And it was just like a little overwhelming. I was like, go, go, go. I want to do everything. I want to like conquer the world because I'm like, can do it now. And then I was like exhausted by the end of the night. Like literally we went to bed at like 8 30 and that never happens so anyway we were very very tired and then today I'm still pretty hungry like usually days one and day two you're pretty hungry I'm pretty hungry today but also I've already started getting what's called the fat burn headaches you usually end up getting these headaches from carb and sugar withdrawals around day two and day three and that's when you want to have some extra Gatorade Zero I'm actually having like the berry version today I really really like the berry version of the Gatorade Zero but you just want to do that within your first week if you have those headaches just because they help with electrolytes you can do extra water you can do some like ibuprofen like whatever's easiest for you but I actually already started getting a headache this morning and uh yeah great so anyway I'm having some Gatorade Zero right now you guys already saw for my breakfast this morning I did my normal little coffee cocktail I did just black coffee with three tablespoons of cream for my healthy fat for today and then I also did about half a tablespoon maybe three quarters of a tablespoon of my sugar-free Walden Farms caramel syrup I absolutely love the caramel syrup from Walden Farms I think it is super super yummy and I wish I had found it earlier on in my program I'll make sure and link it down below 
below if you guys have not tried it yet, but that counted as one healthy fat and then like half a condiment. And then also this morning with my coffee, I did have a golden chocolate chip pancake waffled because it's so simple that way, super, super yummy. And I just, I love having my pancake in the mornings. I don't really even need syrup because it's so sweet on its own with the chocolate chips. So I just throw it in my dash. And also for anybody who's just getting on program, you do need a dash mini waffle maker. Just take my word for it. I will link that down below as well if you don't have one. But yes, I had my first fueling with my pancake today and then I'm having my second fueling now. I'm having a bar. This is the creamy double peanut butter crisp bar. And I'm gonna be taking you guys through my entire day of fuelings, my lean and green meal, everything, just so that if you are you know, actively on program or you're looking to get on program, you at least feel like there's somebody here doing it with you. And this also helps me stay accountable because this first week is when there's a lot of temptation. And I mean, I, we were just so out of sorts with like everything that was going on with being sick and being out of town and whatever that like I need this accountability right now. So anyway, this is technically day two, not of my program, but getting back into fat burn and I figured we could do it together. We could go through the ups and the downs together. I'm just gonna go ahead and have my second fueling now and then I will check back in with you guys when it is time for fueling number three. time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard Okay guys, here is gonna be fueling number three. Sorry if it's loud, we're running the dishwasher right now, but this is gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm like craving it right now. This is just the roasted garlic some creamy smashed potatoes waffled. And if you haven't waffled your mashed potatoes, you need to. I'll put the video above here if you guys wanna check out my full recipe video for it. So, so good. And then I just put one of the garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedges on top one condiment the garlic and herb is my absolute favorite laughing cow cheese wedge and then yeah like just one condiment for this super super good and this literally is going to taste like hash browns so good and then i'll check back in with you guys for our lean and green meal it's time i'm letting you go this time i know it for sure I just thought i should let you know yeah no no one's no more no i got so high on a low that's when i love you the most now i thought i should let you know yeah Covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 okay, down, down. Okay, let's down. chat for a second because history has been made. Okay, I know what you all are thinking. Could it be? that there is a frozen healthy choice meal that can work as a lean and green option? And the answer is yes. <laughs> I heard about this. I heard a rumor about this like months ago. And I was like, that would be like a game changer. <laughs> like seriously, if there was like something I could just have in my freezer, easy if we like are on the go or there is like, you know, not much time or we didn't get groceries or like whatever. It would be so awesome if there was something I could get that was just like, even just at the store and it'll count as a lean and green meal. This, oh my God, you guys, I had to look it up and do the research myself to actually believe it. And I am here to let you know this works. I wanna kinda of let you guys know how I came to this conclusion. So this is the Healthy Choice Simply Steamers Grilled Chicken and Broccoli Alfredo. And I just made it in the microwave. I literally just put it in the microwave for like four and a half minutes. And also the Alfredo looks delicious. I have not tried this yet. I have no idea what this tastes like, but it looks really bomb. I'm super excited about it. And I figured we could try it together because here's how this works. So I even called nutrition support on this. Like I really wanted to make sure I was giving you guys the right information. So here's what it looks like. A lean and green meal, 
just in general, if you're trying to like figure out the parameters, obviously it's protein, veggies, and a healthy fat, or you know, depending on which protein you get, it's certain healthy fats. So the calories of a lean and green meal should be between 250 and 400 calories. Carbohydrates should be 20 grams of total carbohydrates, preferably 15, should contain 25 grams of protein, and then between 10 and 20 grams of fat. This is literally just in the Optavia Dining Out Guide. I had no idea this existed. I knew the Dining Out Guide existed, I just didn't realize the actual parameters of the Lean and Green were in there. And I went on this mission to figure out if this would work. So, on the Healthy Choice Meal, We've got 190 calories, we've got 5 grams of fat, 8 grams of carbs, and 28 grams of protein. So we're like almost there, and also for the record, can you believe this is only 200 calories and it's made from supposedly like all natural foods? Like, I was pretty baffled by this. And the fact that it was like so simple and so convenient and so easy, I was like, I just have to try this out. So it's not a perfect lean and green meal. It's almost there. But what I will say is if you're gonna have this for your lean and green for the day, what you're supposed to do is have this and then add one extra serving of veggies so you could either have like another half cup of broccoli in here, you could add in a cup of spinach to here, you could add in a half cup of peppers, however you wanna do it, add in one more green. And then also we wanna add one healthy fat. So you could do like some avocado on top, you could add like, you could add some cream cheese, you could add like some nuts, whatever you wanna add to this meal to make it a full lean and green. You just need to add one serving of veggies and one serving of healthy fat. So here's my plan. This is just the meal by itself. After this, for my fueling number four, I think I'm gonna do a shake today and I'm gonna go ahead and sneak in a cup of fresh spinach into my shake after this. And you guys have seen, I mean, I've done spinach in my shakes before and you do not taste it like it's amazing so I'm just gonna sneak in my cup of spinach in my shake after this for fueling number four and then my healthy fat you guys already saw I had a healthy fat in my coffee today I had three tablespoons of cream for my healthy fat so let's try it I've never tried this before I figured we could try it together if it's good this is an option next time you guys are at the store snag a couple of them for like that in case of emergency moment and this will work so okay I'm gonna try some of the chicken first not bad not bad at all honestly the chicken actually tastes grilled like you wouldn't think it would because it's a frozen meal it actually does taste like grilled chicken really good and I do like the alfredo sauce I think that's delicious as well also when's the last time I had alfredo oh my god okay chicken not bad at all let's try some of the broccoli not bad Honestly, not really even that mushy. Like you would think a frozen meal of broccoli and chicken would be really mushy. Not at all. Chicken is good. All right, I'm sold. Game changer, you guys. For anybody who's been on program for a while, this is huge. <laughs> like literally, I found this at Target. I think they have it at your local King Supers or Kroger or wherever you're at, but like, this is a game changer. If you have not tried this, go try it. I will link it down below if you wanna order it online. All you gotta do is add one serving of veggies and one serving of healthy fat. And I just told you guys, I'm just gonna sneak it into my shake and then I have my healthy fat in my coffee. Like, however you wanna do it, this is my lean and green meal and I am psyched. <laughs> How easy was that? Like, literally, it was just in my freezer. And it's something you can just get at the store if you're running out of time or you didn't get to pick up some flavors of home in your next box or whatever. If you guys try this out, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed considering it's frozen. I mean, I feel like healthy choices come a long way. Like, I think they got away from a lot of the preservatives. I'm sure there's some in here, but they got away from a lot of them. And this is like real food. I'm impressed, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to finish my lean and green meal now. And then I will check back in with you guys for fueling number four. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest, but I'm not. I just want to go my own way, gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't wanna be stuck in more income. Okay, guys, this is the 
is gonna be fueling number four. Like I said, I was just gonna sneak in one extra serving of my veggies to this shake because I'm missing a serving from my lean and green meal. And I'm telling you guys, if you just sneak it in with the chocolate shake or sneak it in with the peanut butter shake, you will not taste it. It's gonna just taste like chocolate that looks green. You're totally fine. This is gonna be fueling number four for me now. And then I'll check back in with you guys for fueling number five. All right, you guys, we are here for fueling number five, and I am just having some of the smoky barbecue crunchers. To be honest with you, these are not my favorite. <laughs> um, honestly, we're not even entirely sure how we ended up with a box of these. Normally, we order like the jalapeno poppers um, or sometimes the zesty cheddar crunchers, but the smoky barbecue are not my favorite, and I think they must have been just like out of stock or something, and they gave us these. So we're kind of like powering through them. Um, I actually do like to have some of the crunchers with like dipped in the laughing cow cheese sometimes those are really good but I've just been editing and on meetings and stuff like that so I figured I would just like snack on some crunchers anyway fueling number five um, I will say on this second day of getting back into fat burn of you know getting back on track after being sick uh, I am tired <laughs> Um, I was super tired last night and I am also very, very tired tonight, um, but I know this is just part of the process. So I did have some Gatorade Zero today. I did have all of my water today. It was awesome. It's uh, kind of the struggle bus right now. So anyway, I am looking forward to day three. I will be vlogging tomorrow as well, I believe. So I'll be bringing you guys along for the journey. If you guys want to see daily vlogs this week of getting back on track, please comment that down below. I'd love to make them for you. I just absolutely love this community. I love what we've cultivated here. And I'm so glad we're on the Schlees Hill journey together, you guys, because this is very much all of us. So thank you so much for joining me on this video today, you guys. If you like the video, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. Thank you so, so much for everybody's support on my channel so far. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.